trying to hustle this guy, you wouldn't be that comfortable with them. Or if you're trying to hustle that girl, you wouldn't be that comfortable. Do you know what I mean? But they're like, <laughs> I never get to do that because I'm on the road. It's always new, you know. I'm, of course, I've sworn off the relationship, so that's I'm not really going to try to do anything, you know. I quit. I'm done now. They shouldn't. No, I am. I'm done. Oh no, I'm done. I'm, I'm done for all the right reasons. I'm, done. I'm not done because I, I I'm mad or I'm angry or I'm upset. I'm done for all. I'm tired of it. I'm just tired of it. You know, cyclical existence. That's what we call it in Buddhism, cyclical existence. You fight, you make up, you have a little good spell, then it gets dry, and then you fight, you make up. You do that for 30, 40 years. You go, I'm done now. I have done this before. And when I tell my partners that this, that we're just doing the same thing, they go, is this typical? I go, yes. They say, are you typical? Am I typical? And then we're in that argument. <laughs> But it just repeats itself. I can tell you if you're in a relationship tonight what your relationship is like. I can tell you. But people don't believe it. They go, no, our relationship is unique. Bullshit. <laughs> you're just doing whatever. It's like a factory job. You think your factory job is unique. It's not. It's like you just think about it differently. I'm the guy who hates it down the line. He's doing the same job. But you just think differently about it. Different flavors of hell. Different flavors of hell, nicely put. <laughs> You're not cynical. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, so anyway, it's interesting for me to sit on the bleacher. I wish I had some numbers. I would have given relationships like 9.3 from the Russian judge. You know, it would have been excellent to sort of grade. I read this book one time where the closer the couple uh, does the, uh, what the other couple does, the, the more chances they are of going home together. They, well, they did this secret filming of couples in bars, and they just met, like if she crosses leg, he crosses leg, and they did that. And the closer they did the match, they were actually doing some dance, which is freaking animals. <laughs> This is what you came here tonight to hear about. I know you did. Yeah, it is like the Discovery Channel, only you get to go out. I have to watch it because for a long time in my life I was doing this. And then when I was 40, I did this. And now that I'm 50, I do this. Looks to me like. 70, I'm out of business. <laughs> Maybe 60. Looks like 60. Yeah. 69. That's it. 68. Right here. We'll start buzzing. So here. This is 65. 66. It's all over at 66. This is death. You're here. You don't need people after 66. After 66, you're dead. Well, the great thing is, everybody, since I swore off the relationship, I've, I've, I've been writing all these love songs. It's like the pressure's off. <laughs> and so I can write them now. Isn't that the best? Or maybe I don't even sing it, like I'm 40. Well, that's, yeah, that's 40. Have you seen the way she walks? Have you seen the way she talks? Have you seen the way the people look at her? Have you seen the way she dances and the way that she's romantic? Have you seen the way she's changing her world? I never thought she could be that girl. Have you seen the way she smiles when she's in a crowd? Have you seen the way her colors Unfurled. Have you seen the way she smiles and the way she's so so child? Have you seen the way she's changed her world? I never thought she could be that girl. And I would like to say now that maybe I was blind. If that's true, well I'm not really sure. And I would like to say now that I must have lost my mind, and I guess I am. And 
now it's over her. Have you seen the way she walks? Have you seen the way she talks?